So Disney has shut down around May the 12th, all their theme parks. And we have covered actually on this channel of people actually in Orlando that was in wraparound lines trying to get food because Disney or in Orlando employs a lot of people. So they're saying that Disney may not reopen for a year due to strict social distancing measures and enforcement as the coronavirus pandemic spreads across the country. Okay. So it says that I want you to hear this profitability will likely be impaired until there's a vaccine. So we believe parks, uh, profitability will be impaired for a longer period of time, given the lingering effects of the outbreak and say, and now assume an opening date of January one as our best case. So they said, even if Disney is able to open its doors next year, they say the mouse house will be impacted by health precautions that include social distancing, travel restrictions, crowd aversion until there's a COVID-19 vaccine. You, see, you hear that, right? So Disney anticipates to lose $500 million in earnings in 2020. Man, that's a lot of money they're going to lose. And then they're saying in 2021, they're thinking they're going to lose $200 million. Now they said Disney, which reports earnings next month, did not comment. Last month, the company said it was keeping its parks closed until further notice. And then when it reopened, it could incorporate new health measures, including temperature checks. I believe that they should do the temperature checks. I think from now on, um, you go into a restaurant, you go into wherever, have somebody at the door, check your temperatures, you know, have one people, have two people, whatever, check your temperatures, go in. I'm cool with that. They ain't got to put a hand on you to check your temperature. I have one of those thermometers as well. I made sure to get one. Well, I could check people's temperatures. Even if I want to check them coming in my house, let me check your temperature. I got to see where you at, you know, so that that's fine. I would take no issue with that at all. Um, anything to be healthy, anything to be safe. I'm cool with that. As long as it's not just something that's just crazy, but they're saying that, um, if you call up and you want to book a hotel at Disney world, that's the first date you can book. Um, they talk about maybe June the first, but they talk about the theme parks will not, you know, open uh, at all. They said that now I personally was going to try to, well, I actually had booked a flight cause my little girl been asking me for this for some years now. She's five. She'll be six. She'll be six. So I was going to do her birthday, um, uh, over there. But now they're talking about, they may be shut down to 2021. I'm like, oh man, you ruined what I was going to do with my little girl. Cause I was going to tell, we wasn't going to tell her about it. It's going to be a surprise. Like, hey, we're going to fly somewhere and, and surprise her with it, you know? But now I read this story and maybe some other parents like, oh God, cause you mean, you know, maybe some people are saving that $1,200. Yeah, I'm going to take the kids on, you know, uh, family vacation or whatever. So if it seems like, unless things change, uh, Disney is out into 2021. But leave me a comment. Let me know what think about, you know, this particular story for Disney and also the employees. You know, there are thousands upon thousands of employees that work for Disney and now they're out of work right now. They, some of them are struggling in which I've, you know, definitely feel uh, for them. And they definitely, if the, the government, if they're going to do this $2,000 a month thing they're talking about, you know, possibly doing that, um, that would be a good thing. I really think that would be a good thing. Uh, cause people need some help out here. You know, when you have 22 million people unemployed like this. I mean, that is a big chunk of people out of the economy don't have a job. Um, but you know, according to what the governor's here say in Texas, there's at least 500,000 jobs available statewide. So, um, he said, just check the uh, Texas website and you can look for some of those jobs. <music>